So the Honor 90 Lite is the newest addition in Honor's budget smartphone lineup. And even though this is a very pocket-friendly phone, there are some redeemable qualities that make it seem like a more expensive phone. Let's get into a quick unboxing. So we have the Honor 90 Lite here in hand today. It has 256 gigs of internal storage. We also have 8 gigs of RAM and the color that we have is a Cyan Lake color which is kind of like a bluish aqua color. We also have a dual SIM setup here. We don't get the option of a higher 512 gig storage and we also don't get additional RAM apart from the 8 gigs that it comes by default. As you can see on the box as well, this is a 5G device so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. We have the phone right in front of us and we can see a very bright blue color already here. Let's get into the rest of the details. So we have the booklet here, which contains, uh, I believe, the SIM ejector pin right inside of here. And then we also have a silicone cover, which we get on with all Honor phones. Uh, we also get a USB, USB-A to USB-C cable. And we also have a supercharged uh, Honor charger, which is, supports 22.5 uh, watts of fast charging. Actually, it also contains the hands-free. I, I just noticed this right here. So the phone actually comes with uh, a hands-free device. Although the phone doesn't have a 3.5 millimeter jack, but it does come with a USB-C dongle, which can then adapt and then you can basically use the headphones with it. Let's look into the phone real quick. So we have a very pretty phone in my opinion. The design is one of the most standout features of the Honor 90 Lite. We have this bluish aqua color, which uh, I think is the hero color uh, amongst the lineup. We also get like a titanium silver type of color, and we also get a midnight black color, but I think the blue color is the prettiest one. It is a matte finish here, so it kind of mimics frosted glass, although it is not glass. The whole phone, the build is actually plastic. Even the frames on the side are plastic, but Honor has done a pretty good job at uh, uh, making sure the build quality is up to par. Um, and uh, again, because it is a frosted back, we don't get a lot of fingerprint smudges. The camera here on the back, which is very prominent immediately, I think that's one of the standout features as well of this phone. We have two circles that are overlapping on, uh, on top of each other, and this is a triple camera setup. We can also see that it says 100 megapixels here, which we're gonna discuss in a little bit. Looking at the rest of the design, we have a flattish design, and this is a pretty, a fairly thin phone. This comes at around 7.49. Uh, millimeter stick which is uh, pretty decent we have the volume rocker here on the side we have the power button right below that we have the sim tray over here which supports two sims but it doesn't support or it doesn't have space for a micro sd card we also have the usb c port down here we have a microphone and one speaker or one loudspeaker i don't think this is a stereo speaker we don't have any speakers on the top and this actually is a microphone the other little uh hole that you see here is is actually not an ir blaster although it looks like an ir blaster but it actually isn't let's go ahead and turn on the phone real quick and get into the features so the honor 90 light has a 6.7 inch uh Edge-to-edge -edge display is what Honor calls it, which basically means that the bezels are pretty minimal. And that is actually true for the most part, but let me turn on the phone and actually show you what the display looks like. Okay, so now that the display and the phone is on, we can see what I was talking about. So uh, Honor calls this the edge-to-edge -edge display, which basically means that the bezels are minimal. And that is true because the bezels are, are pretty small, apart from the bezel that's here on the bottom, which is a little bit thick. But apart from that, if you look at the other bezels, the, the ones on the side, the one on the top, they're, they're pretty minimal. The screen is an ISP LCD display. So no, it's not AMOLED display, which I think it's kind of understandable at this price point. And I haven't mentioned the price right now, but I will by the end of the video, because I have something, I have a conclusion to make about this phone. But the display is an, an LCD display, which has full HD 1080p resolution. This also has 90 hertz of uh, refresh rate. So I think that's kind of the redeemable quality. The colors as well are pretty accurate and uh, Honor I think has done a pretty good job uh, with the display. Although it is an LCD display, it, it's, it, it doesn't skimp on the quality. So I think they've done a pretty good job here when it comes to the colors, when it comes to the way that the screen looks like. As I said, this phone is a budget phone, but, but there are some redeemable qualities. And, and yes, I know LCD is an old technology, but still, it's pretty good. It's, it's a pretty good quality LCD display. Honor has also advertised this as being an eye comfort display. And it also has another feature or a technology that is specific to Honor, which is the dynamic dimming technology. And what it does is, in easy words, it's kind of like true tone. I should also mention that this does come with a fingerprint uh, scanner as well. Now, jumping onto the battery, this has a 4,500 milliampere battery, which is kind of standard. 5,000 milliampere is the standard, but 4,500 milliampere 
is also acceptable at this price range. This will last you pretty much all day. So by the end of the day with regular usage, you'll still have between 15 and 20% battery. When it comes to the charging, you can expect 22.5 watts of fast charging with the charger that comes in the box. This doesn't support a wireless charging either. So that's kind of like a downside. If you wanna know how quickly this will charge the phone from zero to 50%, it took around 30 minutes. So. Uh, within one hour, you can, with the 22 watt charger in the box, you can charge this phone from zero to 100 in about one hour. I'm not talking about the cameras on the back, which is one of the standout features of the Honor 90 Lite. We have a main 100 megapixel camera, uh, and we also have a five megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro camera, which I'm not going to discuss too much. I'm gonna focus mostly on the main camera, which is 100 megapixels, which is again, the star of the show because it's also mentioned here on the phone. Now, this camera is pretty decent. It will do everything that you want from a regular point and shoot camera. It's very good for vlogging because it does have uh, the dual camera mode where you can also film yourself and also film the background at the same time. And again, with Honor, you, we see a lot of different improvements with the camera. Honor is good when it comes to the cameras. So you can see that we have the aperture uh, mode here, which again is kind of like a background blur feature. We have night mode, we have portrait mode, we have photo mode, we have video mode. The video will shoot in 1080p. It doesn't have 4K support. So that's kind of like a bummer, even though it is a 100 megapixel camera, I would expect this to at least have 4K video. So that was kind of like a downside for me. Camera wise, this is a pretty good camera, but I'm only talking about the main camera, which is 100 megapixels. It is great everyday point and shoot camera. If you have good lighting, the camera is gonna be pretty good. The back one as well, as well as the front camera. So just make sure that if you want quality pictures, you are taking them in good lighting. It does, it does have night mode as well, but I didn't see it being that much effective. Now, when it comes to the performance, which is the big question mark uh, about the Honor 90 Lite, the Honor 90 Lite doesn't have Snapdragon's chip, but it does come with MediaTek's Dimensity 6020 chip. To give you guys an idea, I ran some N22 benchmarks here, and this specific phone, this unit, it's giving me a little bit less than what I've seen in other reviews. So this gave me around 384,000 points. This uh, is, uh, is close to what I saw on other units. This specific unit, I tested it two times. I ran and two to a couple of times. It gave me the same exact score. But uh, on other units, I saw this running at around 400 to 420,000 points, which I think is, is decent. Now, if I was to give you an example so that we can compare where the performance lies. This is right between the uh, Poco X5. This is above the Poco X5 and just below the Nothing Phone 1 and the Pixel 7a. Light gaming is more than welcome, but uh, heavy gaming is something that I wouldn't recommend. Now this sits on a seven nanometer platform and this is an octa-core chip, which is clocked at around 2.2 Hertz. Furthermore, this is paired with uh, Magic OS 7.1, which is the latest uh, Magic OS uh, version. And it, this is based on top of Android 13. It also supports full 5G support. And if you're wondering whether this supports Google services, yes, it does because this is Honor's phone. So it comes packed with every Google service that you can imagine. Finally, coming down to the price, which is the big question mark about the Honor 90 Lite. Now this comes at around 899 dirhams. So 900 dirhams to be exact. And if you wanna convert that into USD, that's gonna be around $250. Now that is a really, budget-friendly phone. I think anyone uh, can afford that. And uh, with the features that this has, $250, 900 dirhams is really a no-brainer. But having said that, there are other phones in Honor's lineup which kind of fall within the same price category, a little bit higher, but do everything that the Honor 90 Lite does, but actually better. So to give you an example, if you look at the Honor X9A, which is also known as the Magic Lite 5. The Magic Lite 5 is a phone that does pretty much everything that this phone does, but better, especially when it comes to the areas that matters. So the X9A has a old AMOLED display, 120 Hertz AMOLED display. It has, I think, 2K resolution for the display. It has a curved display. So it's much more, it's, it's better to hold in the hands. It's, it's aesthetically pleasing. The whole phone is actually, uh, has a curved design on the back and on the front. So I, I think it's a much better uh, phone to look at as well. Apart from that, it has a bigger 5100 milliampere battery, which supports 44 watts of fast charging. On top of that, it also has a Snapdragon chip, which is a much better chip 
than the MediaTek chip that we have on the Honor 90 Lite. So then the question is, should you buy this or should you spend the extra amount? Now, how much more are you spending on the Honor X9A, you're spending on 250 dirhams more. So to be exact, on the Honor website, UA website, if you go visit it right now, the uh, the 90 Lite is advertised at 899 dirhams, and the X9A is advertised at 1150 dirhams. So that is exactly a difference of 250 dirhams. If I was given the option, I would immediately go for the X9A. I think that's the obvious choice, but then again, it depends on people. If you are already spending 900 dirhams on a phone, I think it's better to just spend the extra 250 and get a phone that uh, has better display is aesthetically more pleasing, has a bigger battery, and is better in performance. So, so the areas that actually matter are much better in the X9A. So that is my choice. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Honor 90 Lite. This is a very good phone, in my opinion, for everyday use. But I think the price is kind of a little bit confusing because if you go look at the website, you'll see even other phones. So not only the X9A, but there are other phones that are just a little bit more expensive or around the same price point, which provide much better performance, much better features. So that's my opinion on the Honor 90 Lite. Let me know what you guys think about this phone, if you like it, if you don't like it, if you would buy it, or would you consider buying another phone by spending a little bit more money? Apart from Honor, there are other phones that you can buy within the same price point, uh, which offer similar features or sometimes even better features. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you guys think of the Honor 90 Lite. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.